I'll be damned. The devil makes house calls. Where's Brooke? What happened to your face? I take it you don't watch the news. Jamie! Brooke! Brooke! They're not here. What do you mean they're not here? She's doing court in an hour. What, did she head over there by herself? Where the hell is she? Is she coming back? No. Don't play games with me. This is no joke. If she's not in this house and she's not on her way to that courthouse, then she... Where are they? I don't know. I do know that they're safe where no one can touch them. What have you done? What have you done with my son? All I can tell you, Tad, is that he's with his mother and he's safe. From what? You... Tad, take your pick. A bench warrant, unfair trial, life sentence. God, no, no. Dad, no, no, I am sorry. You bastard. Do you have any idea what you just did? Do you have any idea you just screwed up any chance he's ever going to have of an acquittal? Well, what, what chance, Tad? Have you read the papers? Have you listened to the editorials? Vigilante, that's the nicest thing that they're, they're, they're calling hype. her. It's media. Who cares? They're always going to play up the worst possible angle in a murder trial. That's their job. That's how they sell newspapers. I was in the court. I saw the jury. No, what you saw, what you saw was your chance to screw everything up. Brooke's exhausted. She's frightened. So what do you do? Are you reassuring? Are you supportive? No. You decide to scare her half to death and send her running. If I helped Brooke, it was at her request. Well, what are you going to do when they foreclose on this house? And they seize her bank accounts, and they cut her off from her family, and my family, and all her friends, and Tempo Magazine, and any chance she's ever going to have of working again. What are you going to do? Hmm? You going to ride into the rescue at her request? You know, if you, could, if you could stop focusing on how much you hate me, you might realize that your son needs his mother. If she goes to jail, he'd have he me. will not... What? What? He'd have me. He'd have his life. He has his life. What kind of life is Jamie going to have now? Did you ever stop to think about that for one second? Huh? Running from one country to the next? No. No, because you're so damn selfish. You have no idea what it takes to make a, a, a life, a home for a child. This is his home. I am his home every bit as much as Brooke is. Phoebe. Phoebe! She's not here. Find her. Dad, she doesn't know where they are. She didn't want to know. What'd you do? Brainwash the whole family? Fortunately, she could see the logic. I want him back. I will beat you half to death if I have to, but you're going to tell me what you did with my boy. Dad. What are you doing? Wonderful to see you. You back for a visit? Don't you start with me, Dimitri. It's pretty obvious you're the one that's probably up to no good, so why don't you just cut the act and tell me what's going on? Brooke's a fugitive. He thought her life would improve if she ran away. Where's Jamie? No. You put him in the middle of this, a little boy? How could you do that? Jamie's... Fine. Brooke would never let anything happen to him. It's already happened, you moron. He's gone. He's out there in the middle of God knows where. Dad, look, you just calm down. We'll get him Don't back. Don't tell me to calm down. There's no time. Don't you understand? She's due in court in one hour. Exactly. When she doesn't show up, the judge is going to issue a warrant for her arrest. You have to tell us where they are before it's too late. I can't do that. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Please. No! What, Ted? You want to hurt me? Hmm? You want to kill me? She's better off! Yes! The pilot confirmed that. Good, I'm glad for both of you. Brooke! Brooke, it's me, it's Ted. Listen, you got to bring home Jamie right now. Listen, everything is all right. I will tell Trevor to stall for as long as he can. Just get back here as soon as possible. Brooke? Brooke! What did she say? Nothing. Not a word. She just hung up on me.
fewer people that know, the better. She was protecting you, Dad. How could she do this? She was scared. I don't care. I don't give a damn how scared she is. She shouldn't take a little boy halfway around the world. She'll get, she'll get in touch with you, Tad. I mean, she may be a fugitive, but Jamie's not. Okay? She'll let him come home as soon as she calms down. He won't come. Of course they will. No, he won't. He's too smart. He loves her too much. He'll know that if he goes, she'll be all by herself, and he won't do that. Well, then you're just going to have to go and visit him. Yeah. I'll visit him. I'll visit the child I've seen every day of his life since he was two years old. We'll have quality time. We'll hit the really big issues. It won't matter that I can't pick up the phone so I can hear his voice or drive across town just so I can give him a hug. This is bad. He's the reason I get up in the morning, just so I can make him laugh. I mean, I'm not saying I don't have a, a life, you know, friends, family, but... He's like my heartbeat, you know? I know. He needs me. I don't care what Brooke or Dimitri or anybody else says. He needs his father. Jamie and I had a little talk one afternoon while he was staying with us. About how much he missed you. How much he loves you. He just wanted to talk about how much you make him laugh when you shave. How you make the best French toast. How you let him paint his room his favorite color. Ted Brooke is not blind. She knows that he needs you. <laughs> Dix, at this point, I have no idea what Brooke knows. <sighs> Trevor's uh, handling this case, isn't he? Yeah. He's representing her. Well, don't you think maybe we should give him a call? <laughs> Why? He's going to find out soon enough. Well, maybe he could get a postponement Postponer. or something like that. Dixie, this is, this is a flight from prosecution. This is a crime in and of itself. Don't you see, as soon as she doesn't show, the judge is going to revoke bail. He's going to issue a warrant for arrest, and if and when they drag her back, they're going to put her right back on trial, except this time, having made herself look guilty, she's going to get convicted and probably go away to prison for the rest of her life. All right. When's the last time you did something by the book, Ted? What? You know, things don't go always the way they say that it's going to go. Sometimes you have to find the little, you know, nooks and crannies, the, the wiggle room. Wiggle room? Wiggle room? You've been in Pigeon Hollow too long, you know? You that. know exactly what I'm talking about, Ted Martin. Now, you can stand around here and, and, and complain about Dimitri Merrick and his, his nefarious ways, or you can, you can beat him at his own game. You of all people are telling me this. Well, sometimes, Ted, desperate times require desperate measures. Are you going to help me? Well, let's just say I'd do anything for Jamie Martin and leave it at that. Deal. Okay. I have no idea whether or not this is going to work, but I need your help. I need you to stay here for a few hours. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now listen. If anybody calls, and I mean anybody, whether it's Trevor or Belinda, you tell them that Brooke is indisposed. Indisposed? Tell them she's sick. You know what I'm talking about. Just tell them whatever you have to, but whatever it is, don't tell them the truth. No matter who it is, they cannot know that Brooke has left this house, let alone Pine Valley. Okay, all right. Well, what are you going to do? Don't worry. I'll be back. Wait, wait, where are you going? What are you going to do? I'm going to go find myself some wiggle room. Dad, can't this wait? No, can't. Well, we've been on our feet all night, man. Look, I have patience to see, Dad. Listen to me. Jamie's in trouble. Jamie? What's happened? As far as I'm concerned, the rest of his life is in jeopardy. Unless you help me. <laughs> 